Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop and happy Halloween. This is my Halloween project that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be another laser project. I know I've done several laser projects in a row, but it's what I have time for at the moment. I do have three projects in progress currently right now that are not laser cutters, so stay tuned for that. So for the past, like, 10 years, I've been doing a pumpkin carving every year that's not just a, like, stereotypical face, but I've been carving something in particular. Like I did, like it's E.T., I did Dumbledore, I did uh, Voldemort, let's see what else, I did Doc Brown. If I can find the pictures, I'll flash them up. I even tried making my own of uh, Supergirl and Arrow. That was my own stencil I made from scratch, it kind of worked. But last year was my freshman year of college and I had no time to do one of those because those things take a couple hours to do. So I tried the laser cutter. Cause this was, that was my first year having a laser cutter. So I tried sticking pumpkin in the laser cutter and photo engraving, and it actually worked out pretty well. I did, I, I think it was a poster of the Flash, Supergirl, and Arrow, and a Velociraptor on a pumpkin. And so I'm gonna try and do that, but better, a little bit bigger. So for this year, I'm gonna be doing this Avengers Endgame poster. It's a very high quality image that I found. I just got it off Google but it has none of the text on it. And I'm, I'm gonna be using Graphic Converter. It's free if you wanna use it, but I'm not gonna be able to just import this straight in. So if I were to just engrave this as is on a pumpkin, I'd have this, a similar problem to when I did my, uh, my Starman engraving on a piece of uh, Planetarium Dome. You can see that video, I'll put it in the description. But so in a pumpkin, the deeper you engrave, the more light will come through causing the picture to be brighter in that spot. So if I were to do this, the laser will engrave this black area a lot. So this will be lighter, all this will be darker and it'll be weird, it'll look inverted. So to fix that, I'm just gonna go over here and invert the image. Now it does look a little weird right now, but that's okay. And I think, I think it should be fine just this way, but now I'm gonna go in and clean it up. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. So if I angle it, you can see that there are these weird specks all over the place. I think I do wanna crop it in. So I'm just doing like this area, but I wanna make sure that I'm not wasting laser time because it'll try and engrave really light spots. Cleanup is done. You can't actually see it. What I did is in these white areas right here, over here, there's a bunch of like extra pixels of not slightly white, but not quite white that the laser will pick up and try and engrave. And it'll basically waste time trying to engrave over here and it'll put a weird finish on the surface of the pumpkin instead of leaving this area untouched. So it's ready to go. Let's save this, import it in. Let's go prep the pumpkin. Yeah, so here's the pumpkin I'm gonna be using. I tried to find one with a nice flat side. This is the best I could do in short notice. I just went down there today. I'm, I think I'm two days out from Halloween. I don't know, school's frying my brain. Engineering is hard. But so I found a nice flat side. What I'm gonna do, so that this will not fit in my in the low forge laser cutter. Some laser cutters you could fit it in. Low forge you can't, you only butt two and a half inches of space to fit stuff in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice off the face of the pumpkin, stick it in the laser, engrave it, and then I'll just pin it back on when it's done. So I've got a nice flat spot here. It's gonna get a knife, try and cut a nice flat area out. Hopefully I have enough space. Get a big knife. While I'm doing this, if you would like a Glowforge laser cutter yourself, you can use the link in the description and get up to $500 off a Glowforge laser cutter of your own. It's a pretty good deal. Someone's already used it. Some people have already used it. It's a great laser. One of the cheapest ones out there that's very good quality. There we go. So I've cut off this. So this is where I stick this in the laser. I think I will flatten the back out a little bit. I will have to clean out the insides, but I'll do that off camera. Yes, yeah, so what I've done here is I just cleaned up this. I cleaned up the back side, made it a little flatter. Still has a little bit of a dome, that's good. So that way the same amount of light will be coming through in all, all places and hopefully it'll be more an e more even picture. So I'll just I'll get some rubbing alcohol, clean off the marker, stick it in the laser. But while that warms up, this setup. So if you take out this 
tray. You get a little bit more space. This tray is not really necessary for stuff like this. Okay, so I've got my piece of pumpkin. It does seem to be roughly two inches tall. And I want to get the tip of this up as high as I can on the laser. So I'm going to get about half an inch And just plywood, stick that down as a spacer. Okay, so I've got this, the top of the pumpkin up to the top of the focus range of the laser. All right, closer look, there's the pumpkin in there. I got the time to go to the computer, get this all programmed up. Got the design imported into the Glowforge software now. Let's get it to a size where it fully fits. I like to keep it away from the edges because those have it drops off pretty quickly. So what I'm gonna do, we get uncertified material. I'm gonna tell it that it's 0.5, which is thick, because that's where the top is. And we're gonna go to a manual engrave. And we can do the very power. So unfortunately I I don't remember all of my settings, so I'm gonna guess and go 340 lines per inch. What I do remember is that I used full power last time and 300 for my speed, and it worked. The reason that the laser is so high powered here is because of the water content of the pumpkin. So because of the water content in pumpkins, there's a lot of water in them, and the specific heat of water is so high, you need a much more powerful laser to actually engrave it. So if I was doing these settings on wood, for example, on like a dry wood, it would just burn right through it, put a hole straight through it. But with a pumpkin, it needs to boil off that water. Well, not necessarily boil it off, but it needs to get through all that water. So you need much more, much higher power. So last time I remembered, I did a few tests last year. And I got full and 300 worked well. Yeah, so Glowforge recently updated and was able to actually speed up the engraving, so it's only gonna take an hour and 23 minutes. Before the update, that would take over two hours. It's not too bad. Let's go engrave it. Because it's really late and dark, I don't actually need the normal cardboard to prevent glare. That glare is just on the iPad. See, there you go, no glare. So, start the time lapse, start the laser. Hopefully this works. out of the way so this is what it looks like right now you can tell what it is but it, it doesn't look super good that's just because this is the inverse of it so it'll look a lot better when once lights coming through it looks a lot it looks pretty good there's this black like soot on it so I'm just gonna get a wet paper towel and wipe it down so just to get all this soot off I'm just gonna basically just wipe this down just wet paper towel way so it won't block any light so i've moved into the shop time to get this all finished up just need to stick this back on get it lit and everything but don't just ignore the stuff in the background that's for an upcoming video which by the way is one of the most expensive projects i've done for the, this channel so far so if you wouldn't mind if you would like to help out i've got uh t-shirts and sweaters and all kinds of merch like that it's available on amazon links in, in the description there's pretty cool ones like favorite easily distracted by airplanes or the squirrel. If you don't want to spend any money, then I've also got a free, you can get a free stock with the trading app Robinhood, which will also give me a free stock, which that could be a couple hundred dollars of free stock. You just need to sign up with the link in the description.
I've also got a tool list of some of my favorite tools with Amazon affiliate links. And of course, they're not a sponsor, but it's my, one of my favorite tools, the Glowforge laser cutter. If you buy one with my link, you'll get up to $500 off, depending on what model you got. Cut to the next day. This is supposed to be a one day project, but it's going into two. Uh, as Adam Savage says, one day builds never actually take one day. So I've got the carving right here. The engraving. Look up close, you can kind of tell what it is. It doesn't look great, but that's because it's meant to look with the light coming through it. So what happened is I filmed the whole part of me assembling it, getting it all together, and it didn't look very good because it was very dark. So what I, all I did to fix that, I just took this like pumpkin scraper, like scooper out to get all the guts out, and I just scraped down the back to thin the walls to let more light through. So now I'm gonna tack this on using some tacks, but first the normal tea lights that people use in pumpkins are not bright enough for this. So what I've done, I made this last year for my other ones. I just took a light bulb and attached a power cord to it. Nothing special. So I've cut a hole in the side. I just take this, get it in the hole, and just kind of place this in here. And it's a fluorescent, so it's not going to heat up and catch the pumpkin on fire. And now to attach this, make sure you get it the right way. Gonna stick this on. Make sure it's lined up so I don't get too many edges. I'm just, I've got just sewing pins. Take a sewing pin, stick it right through. Nothing special. They do have heads on them, but you you can't see them in the dark, so it doesn't matter. I'll bring the camera in, turn off the lights, see how it looks. Okay, here it goes, big reveal. I look so much better with the back scraped. You can see it's pretty much photorealistic. So I did edit the picture to get the right look and came up with the process, but Glowforge did all the, the hard work here. Let's see if we can get a good close up. So you can you can tell who everybody is. Everyone looks really good. Even got the tiny little bit of detail right here on Cap's uh, shirt. I don't, is that called a shirt? You got the Thanos in the background. Looks really good. Looks so much better once I scraped the back before it was kind of a little dull. Like even like right here, you, you can get like gradients that make it just look real. Here, I'll put the, here's the original next to it. I'm very happy with that. So I hope you enjoyed that little Halloween project. Turned out pretty well. I'll probably do another one next year and the year after that I'll keep doing these. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps push the video to more people and helps grow the channel. And if you want to see more cool projects, not just laser cutter projects, I've got 3D printing projects coming up and CNC projects coming up, wood carving, welding, who knows. Got some cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.